and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide today. I'm going to go over what you need to be doing with your coins in Madden 20 right now. Now guys, I'm going to be answering a few questions regarding coins because guys, this video is kind of a culmination of a bunch of questions as well as a bunch of things you should be doing right now. Now I've been getting a lot of comments about which running backs to Saquon or Dickerson to take, who's the best thing diamonds to get, should I be spending coins on these cards? I'll be answering all these questions throughout this video so stay tuned throughout the whole thing so I can, I'll be getting to everything okay? Got it all written down what I kind of want to go over. Now guys, before we get into the video, I do want to let you guys know, as far as the giveaway's been going, you guys have been showing crazy support, I will be announcing today's giveaway winner probably on today's gameplay, so make sure you go check that out. Now guys, as you guys can see right there, I do have a 99 overall Dalvin Cook, that will be today's gameplay. Now guys, I'm not going to lie, you guys have been asking for more gameplays, and I've really been enjoying them, I really have. So guys, if you want to see today's Dalvin Cook gameplay, if this video gets 200 likes in the first hour, I will drop the Dalvin Cook gameplay. That's all you guys are going to do, so if you're watching right now, spam that like button. Get the light, just just blow it up, and I'll get you Galvin Cook gameplay as soon as possible. Make sure to be, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Come join the family, boys. We're getting super close to 21,000, growing crazy fast, and that's about it. Turn on that noni bell, boys, and let's get into this video. So head on over to the auction. By the way, the giveaway is still on. All you gotta do is like the video, comment down below, and comment down below the number of like you are, and be subscribed to the channel. Once you do all the things, you're entered to win. Good luck, and guys, I will be announcing the other winners and the giveaway on the other one. So coming on over to the auction block, coming on over to the 96, 97s. So you guys are wondering who's the better running back. I'm gonna start with that. So who's the better running back that you want to be buying with the coins right now? Because these are obviously are both end game cards. Now I imagine they're gonna be somewhere close to each, their, uh, each other. So let me filter by halfbacks. Let me put them next to each other so I can properly compare. Okay, so coming on down to Dickerson and Saquon. Who's cheaper? Dickerson is cheaper than Saquon. Not by a lot, but he is. And that usually says a lot about their ability. Now, Saquon base. 95 speed, 96 excel, 98 agility. So let's start with the athleticism. Dickerson. So Saquon is more agile and more excel. Let's go back to carrying. Carrying and catching. 97 carrying, 80 catching. 96 carrying, 71 catching. Saquon so far has beat him in every single stat. Elusiveness, trucking, break tackle. Saquon beats him in elusiveness, less than trucking, beats him in break tackle. So Saquon beats him on every single stat on this card, except for trucking. And not to mention Saquon has an 84 strength, Dickerson has, I believe, an 81, 82. So he's he's literally better in every single ability. Now, here's the one thing: Eric Dickerson does play different. Remember, he is six foot three. He is a bigger style back. He is known to be glitchy. He does have NFL 100 for a train, which is not as glitchy as it used to be. Still usable, not as glitchy. Now, in my opinion, in my opinion, I'm probably gonna end up keeping Saquon. Now, my my reasoning is: first off, on paper, can you really deny it? Can you really deny the fact that Saquon beats Dickerson in every single stat besides trucking, which, to be honest, not many people even do. I never see anyone try to truck me anymore. Everyone just jukes or runs around me or stops and goes. In my opinion, Saquon is the better back overall. He can do every single thing in the game. He's endgame, by the way. He, has 90, he gets 99 speed, powered up, chemmed up with Sprinter and John Madden. 99 speed. He gets 99 excel. He gets 99 carry. He gets 99 agility. He gets 99 break tackle, like 99 carrying. He's, he's unreal. He's endgame. He could literally rock with his running back to the end of this game. Although, there'll probably be some better ones, but not by a lot. Saquon definitely is the move, in my opinion. Now, I did just power down my Dickerson. It did take me about 24 hours to figure that out. I've been really thinking about it. I've been conversing with some people, and I think that's what we decided. So, if you're, as far as your coins go, you can be, and you can safely buy one of these. I'd say wait for the price to come down a little bit more, or do what I did. I used my 97 power pass on Saquon because that seems like a really great bargain. But overall, I'd recommend you buy them. They're endgame running backs. Either one will be, either one will suffice. Now, if you already have Eric Dickerson powered up, maybe go with Eric Dickerson to save some coin. If you have already have Saquon powered up, maybe go with Saquon powered up. It really just depends on what you guys are looking for. All right, guys, so beyond the whole Dickerson and the whole Saquon everything debate, honestly, like I said, Saquon's the move, in my opinion, for me. But guys, the next promo coming out will probably be the Combine promo, and the only running back I can see competing with them might be Chris Johnson, but I don't think he will. I think Saquon and Dickerson will be the best running backs for the foreseeable future. Even if they drop some juice berry, even a juice berry, I don't think I don't think anyone's powerful. Like Saquon has 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 carrying, 99 break tackle. Like I don't think you're gonna find that speed and power combo for quite a while. I think it's a safe bet as one of the end game running backs for me. So I don't really see as much. I feel like you can safely buy one of them. Now, as far as the combine promo, they're gonna release plenty of players. I'll probably take a wide receiver, a cornerback, maybe an outside linebacker from there. But other than that, I don't really see myself having any other issues. Now, as far as endgame cards and stuff, these cards obviously went down. I still don't recommend you buy any of these cards, in my opinion. 
I just don't think it's worth it. I think you wait a while until Nitro Lane's back with him, like, at least 700k. I don't see Lamar being usable for most of the year until he gets a Redux card. And even then, by that point, there might be a Vic that's better. Now, Ultimate Legends is kind of what I'd be using my coins on at this point, guys. I promise you, all the Ultimate Legends every single weekend, it will probably be the best endgame cards to really, as an as overall value for you guys, are going to be cheap. That is the beauty of Ultimate Legends. They're cheap, affordable, demand's decent, high supply. They're the perfect end game cards to just keep picking up week in and week out. You can power for pretty cheap. A lot of them don't have any prereqs. It might just be like Walter Jones was just pretty easy to get, pretty cheap, good price, end game card. Some of the legends are first timers, or some of them don't even really have any other guys, so you just power up all the way to the top. Calvin Johnson just powered up all the way. It's very simple. You don't have to pick up all their older cards. In my opinion, that's kind of the way to go, but it's always up to you guys. Now, should you be saving some coins right now? Yes. The combine promo will release some studs, and combine promo typically is the most athletic cards in the game so i recommend you guys wait a little bit save a few like i said chris johnson was on my mind now he's not going to be i feel as though i'm more than secure with the cards that i plan to get so i don't really think i have to get i have the running backs now so i don't really think chris johnson's a move anymore for me so i might be waiting for a new odell maybe a patrick peterson maybe like a clowny but other than that guys there's gonna be great cards for everyone to get from there but I don't think you have to save everything for it. I'll probably put away like 600k just for that promo. Maybe do the master set if there's some good master set pieces. It really depends on how things are looking from that promo because obviously things change in and out of every promo. But more than likely, we'll probably get a few free players. That could be enough. It really just depends. Like I said, you don't need a ton of coins because you could always just do the solos and stuff for a potential free player. I don't think you got to go all in on it. But like I said, I, I would be saving mostly for Ultimate Legends week in and week out because they're going to get better. We're going to get Theon soon, Lawrence Taylor, Michael Vick. You're gonna want all three of those guys, so I highly recommend you guys save some coins for those guys. That's gonna be the most important thing for me, in my opinion. It's kind of how I'm building my team. As you guys see, the way I'm looking at my team right now, I just want to show you guys real quick, just so you guys are probably probably wondering as far as how to be how I'm spending my coins, as far as what I'm doing with it right now. So, offensive line, I think you finish it off with Ultimate Legends. I'm slowly working across. Ultimate Legends, you can finish it off. That's what I'd be doing with my coins right now. Running back, Saquon, I'm just doing this for a gameplay member. If we get 200 likes in this video in the first hour, I will be dropping that Dalvin Cook gameplay. Mahomes is end game for me. Mahomes or I'm going to go Vic. Either one. Wide receivers, I think I'm, I'm done with wide receivers for the most part. Unless Odell gets a really good card. Tight end, I'm going to upgrade one more time. My defense is pretty much solid at this point. Um, that's I powered him down to get a power pass out of him. But I'm not really waiting for much else. Like I said, I'm waiting for Dion, Lawrence Taylor. Dion, Lawrence Taylor, and Michael Vick. Once those three guys come out, I'm pretty much, and that's like, those are my three cards I'm waiting for. And then golden tickets and all stuff later in the year, obviously, but that's another time, another day. But for now, those are the cards I think you'll be saving up for. For all three of them, you're going to need close to about 1.2 million coins. I recommend you start saving up that, you start saving up the bag, you start leveling up, so you can potentially have enough coins to buy all three of them. That's really all I care about at this point. And the combine promo probably would be, give or take, four to five days is my, my assumption for when we'll start hearing news about it. Because it would have came out in two days from a year ago. So, it really just depends on what you guys are doing, but the person that's what I'm doing with my coins right now, my coins are a little low. I've been giving up the giveaway winners their coins, as well as picking up a lot of players for gameplays. I'm going to get it all back and recoup it once I'm done, but still looking pretty solid, guys. Pretty much it. Final tips. 1.2 million coins for the 3 Ultimate Legend cards. Saquon versus Dickerson. I'm taking Saquon personally. End game running back, you really can rock with him for the rest of the year. And as far as saving or buying right now, I really wouldn't. I said Ultimate Legends weekly. And then wait for the combine. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. And then if you really want to be building coins for all you guys asking, if you're not level 90 yet, you shouldn't be worrying about anything else. Get your level up all the way. Power passes. That's how I've been doing all these gameplays too. Power passes and then just buying the lower pieces, which cost coins, but I'm going to sell them all back. Final thing right there, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. By the way, like I said, gameplay coming up pretty soon. Hopefully, if you guys get the light goal. I mean, I'll still end up dropping it, but it'll be a little bit later. But the quicker you guys get to it, let's see if you can do it. I'll drop it as soon as possible. Super excited to try him out. I have not played a single game with him yet, but this fast card that he did have was super, super overpowered. If you guys remember that gameplay from like the first team of the week drop, like even a, maybe a team of the week preseason drop? It was pretty fun. I wouldn't recommend that you be opening packs right now. I don't think the Legend Fantasy back is worth the value. That was my final thing. I was always forgot to almost mention that. The 180k, I see a lot of people asking me, should I open the packs with my coins? Never a good idea. I just want to clarify that real quick. Never is it ever a good idea to open packs. With coins in my opinion especially 180k you open up two of those that's 360k and even if you pull a full one out of that a lot of them only go for 360. stay away from those packs they're dangerous if you guys that's about it for the video make sure you go down below enter the giveaway subscribe to the channel big thumbs up all you gotta do is enter is like the video every 80 likes is going to be 10k and make sure to comment down below the number of like you guys are once you do all that you're entered to win good luck make sure to check out the gameplay i'm out peace